Hey guys, this is Adam with HealthyThaiRecipes.com and today I am doing a recipe that we have had for a while with uh, green apples and some Thai peppers and uh, cucumbers that we've had some interest in lately. Um, so my wife came up with this, Maud came up with this. It's kind of like papaya salad if you've ever had that, but we're leaving out fish paste because um, I can't eat it. It's just not something Americans are used to. So. If you want to put that in, you can add that in. Um, the, the ingredients are on the blog. Otherwise, it's very simple. It's uh, early spring, 50s out. We have a fire going. Um, we're about to go rock climbing. So this is a good recipe that's light and healthy and easy, and you can still go do stuff afterwards. Um, I'm gonna put some salmon on it afterwards, but this is fine just how it is. So. This is starting off, um, how much is this of cucumber? Four. Four, so yeah, Maude introduced me to these Persian cucumbers and we both just love them. They're absolutely delicious. If you can find them, they're a little bit small. Um, and then this is how many apples? Two apples, green apples. You just use a shaver like a carrot shredder or something, or you can just knife cut them like Juliet them, whatever, whatever you have. So this was just done within like 10 minutes. So they turn brown really fast. So you kind of have to move fast on this recipe. They've just been sitting out for like, no kidding, like 10 minutes. So this is just a salad, so that's easy. This is optional. It's just a fresh jalapeno. Um, it's not even on the, the blog right now. I'll have to put it on there. Just came up with it. This is, um, how many Thai peppers is that? Six. Six, so, so we're doing it with six Thai peppers. These guys are really hot. So you may want to start with just one or two and then ease in. And this is fish sauce, I believe. What is it? Oh, lemon juice, okay, or lime juice, whatever you have. We happen to have lemons. The recipe calls for limes, but it's interchangeable. Okay, so. Sorry about that, that's our local uh, kiddo. So this is the fish sauce, and so that's it. It's just as easy as that, and we're gonna toss it up. Everything mixed through real well. It's amazing how fast that green apple started. Those cross, it's called a cross chain reaction when they turn brown like that. I looked it up before. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna throw the jalapeno in. So I'm gonna kind of leave some back in case it's too spicy. Jalapenos really aren't spicy unless you put the seeds in. The same for the Thai pepper. You can roll them in your hands and then shake the seeds out if you want to decrease the heat. Or you can just, you know, vary the amount too, either way. I kind of like them for color. So some red ones in there. And if you want more color, you can just get the seeds out and then it's not as hot. Hey guys, so today I am making a sriracha covered salmon for a salad like they do in restaurants. I've seen it at multiple restaurants. Recently we had it at uh, Willie's Ice Bar and Grill or whatever it's called in Houston. And it's freaking delicious and it's beautiful too. So you can use whatever sriracha mayo. We actually have a um, recipe for sriracha mayo. I'm just gonna use this because it's handy and PF Chang stuff is always good. Um, the only problem if you make it is you're going to have to put it in something like this because you're going to want to use it to decorate the salmon. So the salmon is the easiest part. This is a really easy recipe and you can put it on any salad. So today we already made an apple salad um, and then I'm just going to put it on top of that as a light and healthy choice before we go rock climb. So we're not all heavy when we're trying to lift our bodies up in the air. So first, you're just gonna heat that up, the skillet up over here, sorry. And then I'm doing both sides, salt, a little bit of pepper. I like cracked pepper, use whatever you like, a little bit of sea salt. And then I'm just gonna put a tad bit of this. If you don't like a lot of spice, you don't have to. If you wanna make it more interesting and you like some heat, you can do that. I'm just gonna flip them over. These are farm-raised uh, salmon fillets. I prefer wild-caught because some of the salmon out in the wild, that are getting out in the wild, are breeding with the farm-raised. They're escaping. 
and it's decreasing the hardiness of the species, which could cause species collapse. So I always try to buy sustainable seafood and I'm kind of turned off by Kroger right now because they had Orange Ruffy. And if you look up on Orange Ruffy, that's a species we may never have 50 years from now because they take too long to reproduce and they live like a hundred years, like or a human lifespan or something like that. I forgot exactly, but if you look it up, you'll, you'll realize like we should not be eating those at all. And it says on the Monterey Bay Seafood Watch website, the same thing. So I've got my olive oil nice and hot, so it goes all over the place. Um, got it up to medium high. You're gonna be careful with the olive oil. You could use canola oil because olive oil has a fast smoke point. So I'm just gonna put skin side down. And you can use a huge piece like I got at Willie's Bar, uh, the ice house. So this is gonna go for like four minutes now. And so I'm gonna go ahead and stop here and come back once we, we're gonna flip it with a spatula so that we don't peel the skin off. Make sure there's enough oil so that it, it's easy to flip it over. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so let's just check it. See how we're doing here. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. Yeah, look at that, isn't that beautiful? You can kind of see that nice cooked color. I got this at Whole Foods and I just trust them. You spend a little more money, but you know it's gonna be good. And it's usually more sustainable. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be great. Okay, so, <laughs> it's kind of smoky, sorry. So that's done, it's looking good. Make sure you cook it well enough um, to be safe. So I'm just gonna put those on here, They're looking gorgeous. And then, yum. I'm gonna take it over and then we'll put it on the salad and munch it down. Okay, so we just skillet fried or sauteed or blackened, whatever you wanna call it. We cooked our salmon real fast for like four minutes till it was through on both sides. And then I'm just gonna put it on top of our salad. So you can use whatever kind of salad you want. Um, today we were redoing the green apple salad. Let's see, put those so you can see those little assholes are there. They are very spicy. So Maud likes those. I am gonna use um, just a sriracha mayo for mine. She told me she doesn't want that, so no, I'm gonna go with this side up. That looks good. And so as you can see, this is a really lightweight salad. Whoops. You can use before you go work out without kind of ruining every everything on your workout. Some sometimes you go eat and then you're too heavy. So then let's check it out. This is one of those recipes. I, I ate it at Willie's Ice House. And then when I looked it up online, there's a bunch of restaurants that do this. So, mmm, it's perfect. It's crispy outside. You can hear that nice kind of crust I built on the fish. Mmm, the cucumbers add some crunch. Uh, it is really, really good. Mmm, definitely one of my better recipes. So check us out, HealthyTireRecipes.com. You can print the recipe. I'm gonna show you a little hack. Since this is a recipe that we're redoing for better photos and content, you can see this has had some wear and tear because I carried it around at the grocery store. Put it out on the cabinet, it makes your life a little easier. You just hit the print button. Please be sure to comment, send us your photos. We'll put them on our blog. Let us know what you think and share if you like us. Thank you very much. See you next time.